hate seeing cables underneath my desk. It reminds me of a college party gone wrong with a mess I need to clean up while suffering a hangover. A messy desk is something I can't stand. You can have the most expensive gaming hardware, from the fastest GPU and pimped out RGB lights to dual or triple monitor setups, and also have a good looking and sturdy gaming desk for it to rest on. But if cables and wires are on top and below your desk, then you lose a lot of the potential aesthetics. It is not enough that gaming hardware nowadays works well. They need to look good too. The individual craftsmanship of metal on matted plastic isn't given a chance to shine if you let spaghetti cables run amok. This is a pity because for just an additional investment of 300 pesos, you can turn an eyesore into an inspiring minimalist masterpiece. Whether your PC is brand new or an old war machine, siguro malapit siya sa puso mo. But no matter how careful you are, sometimes accidents happen. Or sometimes it's not your fault. Nagkalindol, baha, tumutulo yung condo unit sa taas ng unit mo. Wala kang control sa mga bagay na yan, but they can damage your devices. The worst is when it is someone's fault and your things are stolen. Uti na lang, it's easy to have peace of mind for your devices with ProTech Computer Insurance from CocoGen. If your desktop or laptop is damaged, with ProTech Insurance, you are assured you will have the funds needed to get it repaired or replaced. The insurance covers a wide series of unfortunate events, from fire and lightning, to accidental damage, to theft, typhoon and flood damage, broad water damage, the list goes on. And the cost is very reasonable, as low as 1,000 pesos for a desktop and 1,500 for a laptop, and that's for a whole year already. You can apply for ProTech Computer Insurance at any CocoGen branch or inquire via the phone or email. Details in the video description. You'll need four things for cable management. One, cable ties. Two, heavy-duty double-sided tape. You won't need this, however, if your cable ties come with adhesives. Three, Velcro roll. And four, scissors. Additionally, depending on your setup, you might need extension cords and longer display port cables. I recommend you only buy extension cords which have universal plugs so you don't need to worry about individual adapters. The display port cable which came with my monitor was too short and so I had to get a new one. I'll leave the shoppy links to these in the video description. Alternatively, you can choose to just install a cable organizer underneath your desk. However, on a personal level, I feel cable organizers which can be seen are as much as an eyesore as cables themselves. I want to see my plank of wood tabletop and nothing else. Additionally, I'll be attaching a heavy duty monitor arm for my trusty 34 inch ultra wide Samsung monitor. Monitor arms are a good way to hide cables and they free up a lot of space on the table. However, I was happy to live without one for 14 years and so I wouldn't make this a priority. I got this particular monitor arm from Amazon and had it shipped over. Step one, clear everything out. It's tempting to just begin wrapping up the cables in order to save a step, but I promise you that you will waste more time doing this. Get rid of everything on your desk. Unplug all the cables from your computer until you get a blank canvas. Hey, if you like what you're watching so far, please consider liking and subscribing to Hardware Sugar where we generate regular tech content. Step two, installing the monitor arm. Monitor arms have two essential installation points. The first is installing the monitor arm without the monitor to your desk first. Okay, so I'm hoping that this will, this will be aligned well enough. Maybe I want it more to the side. The second is installing the monitor into the arm when the arm has already been attached to your desk. If your desk has a lip, meaning enough space for it to latch onto, then you can use a C-clamp like this one. Another option is to use a grommet, but this requires that there is a pre-existing hole. A lot of office desks come with this hole already, but if your desk doesn't have one, then you can always drill a hole in. I'm gonna go with the C-clamp. The top and bottom of the clamp have rubber pads to prevent damage to the desk in case you want to remove the arm in the future. Always assume, however, that there will always be some form of permanent damage. Ignore the fact that I am installing the arm on my bed when I should be doing this step while the arm is already hovering above my desk. In order to use a monitor arm, you need to know if it's VESA compatible. 
which means it must have holes in the back. Go online and check your monitor model if it does and cross-check to make sure that the monitor arm can handle the weight of your monitor. Otherwise, you run the risk of the arm collapsing and wrecking your monitor. Okay, so now we are just about done. We're just going to install the cable management for the arm. Uh, so far, so good. Uh, it's not exactly what I wanted, but eh, considering how heavy and wide this monitor is, I'm lucky to have had this stand. What I really wanted though was to have it mounted there so that the two monitors would be aligned one on top of the other, but no, it's not possible with this. Not possible. Step 3. Install all the cables. After the monitors are up, hook up the cables to your PC and monitors. The importance of doing this last is due to various reasons. One of which is that you might discover that there are some unused cables which you don't need in the first place. A common thing which happens when you haven't cable managed your PC for a long time. Why waste time on cables you're not actually using? Alright, now the next problem is that I uh, need an extremely long display port so that the ultra wide can reach my computer all the way over there. So, uh, I was able to order this from Shopee. Hopefully, it will reach that way. When all the cables have been attached, begin using the Velcro roll. These are extremely handy and good for the environment because you can make them as long or as short as you want, and all of them can easily be recycled for second uses. Doing this now makes your next job of attaching everything to the cable ties a lot easier. Easier because instead of maneuvering 10 different cables into one tie, you just need to maneuver one massive collective cable. This also helps prevent cable sagging in between areas where you don't have a cable tie. Something useful in case you run out of cable ties or if you wish to use less adhesives. The bad thing about cable adhesives is that they wear out after a long time. I have to remove the old ones from the desk first and replace them with the heavy duty double sided tape. It is important that you remove the old double sided tape from the adhesive hooks as well but I got lazy and just went straight into placing the new tape on top of the old tape. After sticking the double-sided tape to the cable tie, you want to peel off the other tape end and stick it to the back of your table without attaching any wires in order to give the adhesive enough time to adhere to the desk. Again, however, I am impatient and just did away with my own procedure and just went straight into it. A testament to my urge to get my clean-looking desk ASAP. I'm making this script after the fact to help guide others and my future self on how best to get the job done in the future. So just when I thought that everything was perfect, then this happened. Uh, I know it's it's just a little bit irritating, but uh, I'm gonna fix that. And uh, I'm not a fan that I can still see these wires, these two wires, and these wires. I plugged the power cord. However, it's not giving me enough slack, so. Let me get the power brick up here. So I place the power brick here. There, that's 
seems to my Nintendo Switch dock is covering the power brick. Let's uh I mean this power. Alright, there we go. This is what it's for. Alright. And then Step four, admire your work and brainstorm. My number one goal is to not see a single cable underneath my desk. My second goal was to hide as many cables above my desk as much as I could. You can make a desk even more clean by investing in a wireless keyboard and mouse. One last thing I recommend is a retractable USB cable which you can install behind your monitor. You won't see it when it's not in use and it is convenient to reach out for whenever you need to charge a wireless mouse. An organized and clean looking desk may not add higher frame rates to my game, but it sure as hell gets me out of bed quicker. And even when it isn't in use, I can't help but think of my desk setup as not only something useful, but also as an art piece. Let us know in the comment section below what products you recommend for cable management and your recommended retailer for monitor arms. And you want to give a special shout out to our top fans. Dom H, Liam Magnae, Ian Meru, Richard Onkiko, IDX Addict, John Ochia, and Christian Espinosa. Again, thank you so much for all your support and for tuning in to our live stream. I see a lot of you. Till next time, guys.